English cottages that will make you leave the city. Cottages grew out of the picturesque architectural movement of England and Europe, starting in the late 1700s. Initially, the picturesque style was used to describe buildings or landscapes inspired by scenes depicted in then-contemporary paintings, like those of French masters Claude Lorraine or Nicolas Poussin. The cottages were rustic, in rural areas or small villages, and made with local materials and resources, vernacular architecture. Styles often blended, with many using Gothic and Tudor architectural elements, which suggested medieval roots. You won't find an English cottage with all of the following characteristics, but most have at least a few of these features. One of the first projects for the architectural firm of McCown Design was Fairhope Cottage, an English country cottage, in Miami. McCown added elements to give it a refreshed, class look. Among them, Fittingly, this whimsical cottage with a steeply pitched thatched red roof is in Devon, England, which is known for medieval towns, towering coastal cliffs, and fossils along its Jurassic coast. A 3,000-square-foot house in Hinsdale, Illinois, was designed by Michael Abraham Architecture to appear as an established quaint stucco cottage. Set on rolling hills, the home is landscaped with native plants that complement its design. Freelance writer and editor Elaine lives in Bath, England, and is an old house and cottage fanatic. This cottage is in Wiltshire's Castlecombe, considered one of the prettiest and quintessentially English villages. Since the town receives so many visitors and is often photographed, owners keep their cottages and gardens well manicured. This pale yellow early 19th century stucco cottage, which overlooks Barnes Pond, was originally built for the village schoolmaster. Located in the borough of Richmond-upon-Thames, the district of Barnes has many 18th and 19th century homes and buildings. After living in London for 18 years, Laura recently closed the door on my flat for the last time and moved to her dream home, a cottage in a tiny rural village in Wiltshire. This charmer has the false thatched roof, leaded, multi-paned windows, and stacked chimneys. Photographer Corinna takes stunning pictures of the villages near her home in Wiltshire, England. This particular cottage is her favorite, and has an authentic thatched roof, curved dormers, wood-framed or casement windows, and lovely garden. Yes, that's a faux family of ducks marching across the false thatched roof of a cottage in Norfolk, England. This roof subtype copies real thatched roofs that once dotted rural landscapes throughout Great Britain. This one is steeply pitched with curved dormers and gables. Masha likes to stay in old houses or mansions while traveling throughout Europe to experience what it's like to live like a local and explore intriguing buildings. This B&B is a well-maintained cottage in Wales that has had architectural elements painted for just enough emphasis. Nat Woods loves French antiques and furnishings and owns a Morris Minor automobile named Mrs. Taylor that takes her through the Hampshire and West Sussex countryside. Although Nat's house looks like a tidy but slightly rustic farmhouse cottage, it was actually built in 1993. In her blog, Laid Back Farmhouse, Nat chronicles the renovation of her home as she adds period architectural elements and furnishings to give a newish home character and lots of personal touches. Another renovation that's a work in progress is Laura's 1920s cottage on the coast of Devon, England. Dubbed her forever home by the sea, the property sits on an acre with a wild garden that she and her husband are in the process of renovating, like everything else. Did you ever think that English gardeners might want an American look? Laura is hoping to give her landscape a New England kind of vibe, with Adirondack chairs and a fire pit. Of course, she won't rule out a classic English country garden. As the owner of Gather and Graze Boards, Kyle Campbell divides her time between her home base of Nashville and long working trips to England. Captivated by the English country lifestyle, she frequently explores villages to take in breathtaking homes and gardens. There is nothing like an English village in June, she says. English summers are something special. Take the brick path to a 16th century cottage in Charlwood, England, that once had a wooden chimney. Wisely, it was replaced long ago with fire-retardant brick.
This old gem includes a steeply pitched, false thatched roof and classic Tudor half timbering details on its facade. Pink English roses surround a country cottage in Bybury, a rural village and tourist destination in Gloucestershire with many historic Cotswold buildings and tea houses. Note the characteristic front facing gables and steeply pitched roof. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.